What is up guys, Aerof Mora here back again with another video review and today we'll be taking a look at the 10 to 18 millimeter 4.5 to 5.6 Canon lens. This is a EFS lens so this is only available or exclusively only for APS-C sensors and not full frame sensors and the focal length goes from 10 to 18 just like so. It has two buttons, the autofocus, manual focus, and the stabilizer on and off, which I'll be demonstrating soon. The mount is unfortunately plastic. Hopefully in the future, Canon will actually change all of their lenses to metal mounts. Here, attaching it onto a T6i. Since this is a EFS lens, it only works for APS-C sensors, and you can see the APS-C camera right here, which is a T6i, corresponds with the white dot on the lens and the white dot on the camera and it fits perfectly just like so. This lens takes a 67mm filter thread right here. I'm using the Platinum UV so this is only for any dust and dirt or any nicks and bumps that affects the front element. This filter is here to protect it and if you so want to protect your filter you could use the Canon body cap or the lens cap to attach it on with no problem whatsoever. Zooming in from 10 to 18. Holding it slightly close to my face, it still has a wide angle view, which I like about this lens. Off, on. Off. Before we get to final thoughts, just a quick comparison between the 50mm uh, Plastic Fantastic 1.8. They're essentially the same uh, circumference um, in terms of the, um, the length or the width of the uh, lenses, but you can see the difference between the 1.8 and the 4.5 to 5.6 lens. Having this lens, I mainly use it for landscape photography and vlogging. Uh, if you're a photographer and using this lens, there is a lot of vignetting. So with Lightroom, if you have Lightroom, that could be easily fixed. But if you're actually vlogging with this lens, I'm not sure if you could fix the vignetting. I'm, I'm pretty sure Final Cut Pro could do that, but I haven't checked it out. Uh, also, I use this for astrophotography and one of my um, astrophotography time lapses, which if you guys haven't seen, which is freaking beautiful. Uh, it's a little noisy, but um, it, it'll do. Uh, I was still learning astrophotography then, and still learning how to control the noise levels in my shots and in Lightroom. But other than that, this is mainly good for vlogging and taking pictures of landscapes. Lastly, I'll be showing some before and after pictures taken with this lens, and hopefully you guys like it. And yeah, if you want to watch this Grand Canyon vlog, it's going to be at the end screen of this video, and also in the link down below in the description box and yeah that is it guys hope you guys like this slideshow of the before and after pictures in the grand canyon and that is it guys Errol Mora signing out